Hi, Grace Church. This is Pastor Tim with this week's video update. Last Friday in our Good Friday service, we remembered together the sacrifice of Jesus on our behalf at the cross. We had a meaningful uh, Good Friday service. And then on Sunday morning, we celebrated the uh, amazing, glorious news that Jesus is alive. He's risen. Uh, this coming Sunday, uh, April 24th, we're going to be kicking off a new teaching series. The series is, uh, is titled, How Then Should We Live? In view of all that God has done for us in Christ through the death and resurrection of Jesus, how then should we live? And uh, we're going to be, for the next five weeks, in a series taken from Romans chapter 12. Um, it's a very practical chapter. And in that chapter, uh, all of the practical exhortation uh, flows out of the reality of this amazing salvation that God has uh, has provided for us in Christ. And in the first message in this series, I have the chance to speak from uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2. To some of you, those two verses are going to be very, very familiar verses, but the, the message title is, In View of God's Mercy. Therefore, because of all this truth related to what God has done in salvation, therefore, in view of God's mercies, I urge you, uh, and then we're called to, uh, to action, to response to this good news that is ours in Christ. As a part of the worship this week, uh, Pastor Dave and the worship team are going to be leading us in singing to God, in praise, and in worship singing. And then we're going to have an opportunity this week to welcome a couple of new members uh, we're really thankful for Joe and Shelby Lippold, who have uh, begun to uh, engage with us here at Grace in recent months. And then we're also going to have an opportunity to hear from a missionary couple, a missionary couple serving in Taiwan who uh, have been supported by Grace Church for a number of years. We look forward to having John, John and Maggie Wenzel with us this Sunday, and John is going to be sharing a report of what God has been doing in and through their ministry in Taiwan. I want you to know that there's a, a men's archery night on Thursday evening of this week. It's the last one of the season. Uh, at 7 p.m., the evening begins, and uh, for guys with bows and arrows uh, who want to refine their skills in archery, this is a great opportunity for guys to get together, enjoy some recreation and some fellowship with one another. And then finally, on Friday morning of this week, our, uh, our women's ministry has a play group that meets. Uh, it's for moms with young children. It meets here in the gym at, at Grace Church. And uh, it's been a time where there have been a lot of children and, frankly, a number of moms who have come to participate in that time. The moms enjoying the company of one another, their children enjoying playing in the gym. Uh, that's at 10 a.m. this Friday morning. The, uh, the play group ministry is kind of coordinated by Megan Gindin. Well, that's it for this week in this video update. Blessings on you, Grace Church. Jesus is alive. Let's uh, live in light of that glorious truth and follow him this week.